Dobra vam večer i dobrodošli u našu emisiju koju smo nazvali oljakajte svoj imunni sistem toliko da postane nepregojan. Naš večerašnji gost je ponovo Matthew Cross. Matthew i naravno naša Silvija koja nam provodi. Silvija, najljepša hvala tebi i sad ćemo poželjeti dobrodošlicu Matthew. Matthew, najljepša hvala na ovoj večeri, na ovom vremenu koji ćete provesti sa nama i podijeliti sa nama puno informacija koje će nam biti vrlo, vrlo dragocijene. So Matthew, thank you for this time that you will share with us and we hope you will give us lots of very good and useful advice. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. So is there... Just a second. Yes. Something that happened to me with the stream. I don't know how to put it in the middle. Because when I do it like I did it, then I will get rid of it. Just a little bit. I don't know who are you, my friends. I think that you will watch the first one from the first one from the first one. Ja se ispričavam, nije ni ovo, nije ni ovo. Evo ga, možemo ovako. Može. Evo ga, sad samo prevedi što sam poželjala dobrodošljicu i možemo ići dobro već kada ima još jedan put. Ok, we can start. Beautiful. Evo ja bih zamolila Meke da nam kaže samo za one koji ne za prvi put sveći se sa nama i prvi put za video, da nam samo kaže nekoliko riječi o sebi. Okay, so for starters, uh, could you tell us a few words about yourself for those people who don't know you yet? I would be happy to. And I just want to say welcome everyone who is seeing this live and who may see it recorded in the future. Okay, najprije bih želio uh, poželjeti dobrodošlicu svima vama koji nas sada pratite live i svima onima koji će gledati ovu snimku u budućnosti. So, my name is Matthew. Matthew Cross, and I'm an American who has a base where I'm talking to you now in Bucharest, Romania. Znači, ja sam Matthew Cross, inače sam Amerikanac, a, a moja europska baza je u Bukureštu u Rumunjskoj, od, odakle i sada razgovaram s vama. I am a priority strategist, an author and a speaker, and I am very passionate about supporting people to bring their genius to life. Ja sam um, strateg za prioritete, autor knjiga, predavač i um, strastveno se bavim tematikom zdravlja i želio bih pomoći svim ljudima da iznesu na površinu svoj unutarnji geni koji ga svi mi posjedujemo. It is my deep belief, my conviction, my passion that each and every one of you who's watching this now has great genius within you. Duboko sam uvjeren i siguran i strastveno u to vjerujem da svaki od vas koji nas sada gledate u sebi nosi tu genijalnost duboko u sebi. And waiting right now within your DNA are the secrets to not only your success and your health and your happiness, but really to your purpose on the planet. I duboko u vašoj DNK čekaju te tajne koje će vam pomoći da ostvarite zdravlje, svoju životnu svrhu i smisao svog života na ovom planetu. And I want to say that in this time that we're in currently, that no matter what happens in the outer world, we have 100% control, dominion, and really the ability to operate 100% independently inside of ourselves. Želio bih reći u ovom vremenu, u trenutku u kojem sada živimo, da svi mi imamo 100%-tnu moć i snagu i sposobnost da iznutra funkcioniramo 100% neovisno, nezavisno. My essential message there is that you have 100% control. I have 100% control over the most important resource on the planet that as long as our heart's beating and we're alive it's our mindset Dakle želio bih reći da svi mi ja i vi imamo 100%-tnu kontrolu nad nečim što je zapravo najvrijednije na planetu a to je naš um i stanje našeg uma And in that spirit 
If we allow ourselves to react to outside circumstances, whatever they might be, if we allow ourselves to fall into reaction, into fear, we lose control of the creative life creation power of our mindset. Dopustimo sebi da popustimo tim vanjskim utjecajima, da se prepustimo strahu i okolnostima koje su oko nas, onda zapravo gubimo tu sposobnost kreacije i neovisnosti da upravljamo okolnostima. And so it's absolutely critical as a foundation for health full spectrum that we address openly where we are today je bitno za naše zdravlje da se otvoreno da se pozabavimo sa time gdje smo danas gdje stojimo because many of us in this time who would watch this video have been dropped down the hierarchy of human needs into survival mindset zbog toga što su mnogi od nas u ovim okolnostima um, počeli se zapravo um, njihovo bivanje se svelo samo na preživljavanje s obzirom na sve što se događa. And when we're in survival mindset and safety mindset, we're, we're concerned for our safety and our survival, many times fear rises and becomes more of the dominant mindset we hold. A kad je stanje našeg uma uh, zapravo kad se bojimo za preživljavanje, uh, onda ulazimo u taj strah i uh, strah nas počinje kontrolirati. And so it's critical that we step back and we step back into the heart of ourselves where our true power resides and step away from fear. Zbog toga je najveće važnosti da napravimo korak u natrag, da se gledamo stvari i vratimo se u svoj centar, u svoje srce i odmaknemo se od tog straha. And so if we can imagine together collectively for the next 40 or so minutes that the current global panic is gone. Ako mi ovdje zajedno možemo u sljedećih otprilike 40 minuta zajedno zamisliti da je nestao ovaj kolektivni strah i panika. For a moment, if we can engage in some time together where we have a collective commitment that the world is safe and healthy and whole. Ako u ovom uh, vremenu uh, mi udružimo svoju svijest i razmišljamo o tome da je uh, svijet zdrav i cjelovit, da je sve u redu. And for those that are watching this live, if we can take a moment and just adjust our posture so that it maybe is not slouchy, uh, maybe we're not uh, twisted a little bit, that we're just sitting or standing, but most likely sitting buoyantly, just naturally. Da ovo live, savjet je da ispravimo svoje držanje, da ne budemo pogrbljeni ili nagnuti, već da ovako se držimo uspravno i vedro. And let's take conscious command of our most powerful source of energy, of fuel and of inspiration, our breath. Možemo svijesto iskoristiti svoj dah koji je zapravo izvor naše energije, Najveći, najveći izvor naše energije. And let's take a few moments together and get grounded. Because if we take command of our breath, we can lower our fear and our reaction response and step back into a place of inner power and command. Jer ako budemo svjesno disali, onda se možemo odmaknuti od tog straha i doći u poziciju gdje imamo svoju unutarnju snagu i gdje vladamo stvarima. So we're going to take a few moments and I'm going to walk you through just three deep cleansing grounding breaths. Ja ću vas sada voditi, kratko ćemo zajedno disati i to samo tri jedna, udaha i izdaha koji će nam pomoći da se uzemljimo. And we'll do that in a few moments. But before we do, I like to say, as a colleague of mine says, that the brain likes to know what's next.
Ali prije toga, htio bih vam reći, kao što kaže jedan moj kolega, mozak uvijek voli znati što slijedi poslije. So with breath as our foundation, I'm going to share some very simple but powerful tips. Znači da ću vam neke jednostavne, ali vrlo moćne savjete. Of how you can take more command and empower your mindset tonight forward. O tome kako možete preuzeti kontrolu i osnažiti se u svom razmišljanju od danas pa nadalje. Take better care of your emotions and how you're feeling hour to hour and day to day. Kako se pobrinuti za svoje emocije i kako se osjećate iz sata u sat, iz dana u dan. And take better care of this beautiful thing we call our body. I kako se možete bolje brinuti za tu prekrasnu stvar koju nazivamo našim tijelom. Because truly, We have to know in the in the heart of our soul this will pass and believe it or not it will get better. Jer mi duboko u svom srcu moramo znati da da će ovo proći i vjerovali ili ne poslije će biti još bolje nego što je bilo. And the foundation for the reduction and maybe the removal of fear is our mindset, our body, our emotions. A osnova za to da smanjimo ili skroz maknemo strah je naš um i naše, razmi- naše emocije, način na kako razmišljamo. Ladies and gentlemen, beautiful humans. Dame i gospodo, prekrasni ljudi. We are all frequency beings. Svi smo mi bića koja se sastoje od frekvencije, od vibracije. We all emit a frequency. We all emit an energy. Svi mi odašiljemo određenu frekvenciju, određenu energiju. The higher our energy, the more energy we have, the healthier we are, and the higher and farther we can see. Što je viša naša frekvencija, imamo više energije, zdraviji smo i možemo vidjeti više i dalje. The lower our frequency, well, we get trapped in, oh my God, the world's collapsing on me, I'm gonna die, oh my God! You don't, have to do the, you don't have to do the sound effects there, Sylvia, but just... Okay, što nam je frekvencija niža, onda se počnemo ovako ponašati, počnemo se bojati za svoj goli život i stalno smo u nekom strahu od svijeta. So again, in the spirit of what's coming next, I'm going to share some key, simple, powerful tips for our mindset, our body, and our emotions. Dakle, ja ću vam dati neke uh, vrlo jednostavne i vrlo bitne savjete za naš um, za naše tijelo i emocije. And let's be clear. We are frequency beings. And if we increase our frequency, if we raise our frequency, we will have more power to deal with the challenges that come at us in life. I znači mora nam biti jasno da smo svi mi bića frekvencije i što nam je viša frekvencija i energija imat ćemo više snage kako bi se nosili sa izazovima koje, s kojima se susrećemo. And so before we do these three grounding breaths, I want to leave you with two thoughts in English. It's actually one thought. Ok, so, prije nego što budemo radili o vježbe disanja, želim vam reći jednu misao. The secret for restoration in every way and the secret for success is That was a setup. That was actually a setup, Sylvia. So, the secret, the secret for restoration of our lives, of our body, right? For success, the secret for success is raising our frequency very frequently. Okay. Dakle, tajna uh, uspjeha u našem životu, u svim poljima je da podižemo svoju frekvenciju vrlo često. So we need to raise our frequency frequently. Moramo često podizati svoju frekvenciju. It's And not it's so nice like in creation. Say again? In Croatian, it's, um, the word play is lost in Croatian. 
No. Which word, which word is lost? Frequency frequently. Ah, it's lost. Okay. All right. Okay. So, so for those for those who grasp the English, they've got it. Um, however, you can translate it in Croatian. The essential spirit is the key, right? Okay. okay. So to begin, what we're simply going to do is just relax our shoulders. We're going to just drop the shoulders a little bit. We tend to get like this, especially when we're in survival mode or our safety is threatened. We tend to like bring the shoulders up and it's a natural response because it protects our neck on some level on some like, you know, caveman style, I think protect our neck because the neck is vulnerable. So we just want to let the shoulders drop, relax them, let them go. Take your hands and you want to make them palms up. So sit them in your lap, for example, palms up and just sit buoyantly not rigid, buoyantly, almost like you've got a nice, big, beautiful helium balloon over you, and it's got a harness on your back, and it's kind of lifting you up, okay? And well, I recommend... I to say this. Oh, yes, that's right. I got carried away there. Okay. Znači, najprije ćemo pustiti ramena, kao što nam je Matthew lijepo objasnio, jer kad smo pod stresom, onda često ovako dignemo ramena, a to je kao neki instinkt da bismo zapravo zaštitili vrat od nekakve moguće povrede. I onda ćemo sjesti uspravno, ali ne kruto, već ovako opušteno i ruke okrenite dlanovima prema gore. Ok. All right. Again, palms up, buoyant posture, and I simply recommend we're going to take three deep breaths, and we're going to breathe in, and when we breathe out, we're going to breathe out a little longer than we breathe in. I koncentrijamo se na to da nam je izdah malo duži od udaha. So instead of being an even inhale, exhale, let's say 50-50, we're going to breathe in about 40% of the time. And we're going to breathe out 60% of the time. So we're going to breathe in and then we're going to breathe out longer. Znači, udahnemo i izdah mora biti duži od udaha. All right. So I recommend that everyone who's online simply relax, close your eyes, because when we close our eyes, we drop our brain waves down into a very powerful receptive state known as alpha. Poručam svima koji ovo gledaju da se samo opustite, zatvorite oči, jer kad zatvorimo oči, onda mozak ulazi u alfa valove. And I'm going to breathe with you. So we're gonna so eyes are closed. Now take a nice deep breath in. And then let it go. And then take a breath in. And then let it go. And then take a breath in. Take another sip in. And then let it go. All right, slowly open your eyes. You can shake your hands out a little bit if you like. Shake your hands out a little bit. And then I suggest just for a moment, take your hands and you kind of make them in a prayer pose like this. And then reach on up with that prayer pose. All the way up. Just stretch up. Go a little higher. Beautiful. And then just gently come on down. Okay. We're going to spend about 30 or so minutes together now. I'll share some tips. And Carmen, we will have some opportunity for questions. Do we want to have some Q&A at the end? Okay. All right. All right. What I recommend is first an assignment. I recommend, and this is not something to do right now, 
but I recommend that you do this within 24 hours. Preporučujem da ovo učinite ne sad odmah, već unutar sljedećih 24 sata. Some of you might be worried and concerned about not having a job, not working or working as much, and being worried about the basics and the essentials. Neki od vas možda brinu o tome da nećete imati posao ili da nećete imati dovoljno posla i onda vas muče neke egzistencijalne brige. And so one of the best ways to confront these realities is to put them clearly on paper in front of us. Jedna najboljih načina kako se suočiti sa tom realnošću je da sve to jasno zapišete na papir. In America we call it taking stock or taking inventory. U Americi mi to zovemo nekakvom inventurom. Okay. Suggestion is first write down what your cash flow needs are on a weekly, maybe a monthly basis. Najprije zapišite koje su vam financijske potrebe na tjedan dana ili recimo u mjesec dana. You're simply going to do an inventory of what do you spend money on that's essential on a weekly basis. Naprosto napravite inventuru na što trošite novac, što vam je potrebno u tjedan dana ili mjesec dana. Start with the easy big things first, rent, house payment, whatever it might be. Najprije možete početi recimo sa troškom za stanarinu ili kredit za kuću. If you've got a car, an automobile, automobile payment or whatever maintenance cost there might be. Ili troškovi za auto, za kredit, za održavanje. How much does it cost to eat a week, approximately? Write that down. Zapišite isto koliko vas košta hrana za tjedan dana. Utilities. Taxes, government fees, whatever it might be, write these things down. Onda porezi, prirezi, što god još ima, sve to zapišite. Do this ideally in an environment that is bright. Idealno bi bilo da to radite na mjestu koje je svjetlo. With a relaxed mindset. I da imate opušten um u tom trenutku. You're simply collecting real data. Vi samo skupljate realne podatke. And you want to get it out of your mind on the paper where you can see it, work with it and manage it. Želite te podatke iz svoje glave prenijeti na papir gdje ih možete vidjeti i možete upravljati njima. Then you want to do a column of whatever income sources you still have, assuming you do. Onda napravite jedan stupac u kojoj će se napisati koje izvore prihoda imate još uvijek. And if you have any assets at all, you want to write them down approximate value, whatever you might have, savings, uh, stocks, uh, anything at all that would be worth, that could be transferred into real money. Isto tako, zapišite svu imovinu koju možda posjedujete, recimo možda neke dionice ili bilo što što se može pretvoriti u uh, gotovinu, u novac. And listen, if you have an automobile, but it's not really necessary, write it down approximate value. You want to know. Na primjer, ako imate auto, a nije vam stvarno neophodan, zapišite otprilike koja je njegova vrijednost. The point is to simply get clear approximately on what your outflow is and what any income is. Znači, poanta ovoga je da utvrdite otprilike koliki su vam rashodi i koji su vam prihodi. And you want to get clear with this analysis how long can you go at your current rate of expenses. I želite ustanoviti koliko dugo možete ići sa ovim trenutačnim troškovima koje imate. And you want to look at the amount of time. Želite pogledati također količinu vremena. Tu količinu and, you vremena. Want to, and you want to ask yourself, what would you do as you get closer to the projected time where money coming in doesn't equal money that's going out? 
I onda se trebate zapitati što biste učinili, kako se približava ta točka u vremenu kad vaši prihodi više ne pokrivaju rashode. And to be thinking now, what non-essential expenses could you reduce or put on hold? I onda razmislite koje to troškove koji nisu neophodni možete smanjiti ili privremeno stopirati. And what options are if it got to the point where you were running really, really close, whether that's two weeks away, a month away, two months away, whatever the, the, the timeline is. Isto tako, zapitajte se koje su vam opcije ako se približi taj trenutak, bez obzira da li on možda za dva tjedna, mjesec dana ili dva mjeseca ili duže. Again, the point for this exercise is to address the part of the mind that's focused on safety and survival and simply get it on paper so you can know and manage it. Znači, ideja ove vježbe je da e, sve te stvari stavite na, na papir tako da one budu vidljive i da e, dio vašeg uma koji je zabrinut za vašu sigurnost da to vidi pred sobom i da možete se baviti tim podacima. When you're done with this exercise, brainstorm with yourself or with your, your spouse or with a colleague or a friend or anyone close to you, brainstorm a kad se završili s ovom vježbom, onda razmislite uh, ili sami ili zajedno uh, sa nekom bliskom osobom, bračnim partnerom, prijateljem, prikupite ideje. What options you might have koje biste opcije? Dakle, možda postoje neke opcije na koje sada ne, ne mislite. So I wanted to address that first because I know it's on many people's minds. Htio sam najprije reći nešto o tome jer znam da je to mnogima sad na umu. Most of us have more resources than we think of or we acknowledge. I većina od nas zapravo raspolaže sa više resursa nego što mislimo i nego što smo svjesni. And many of us are still in a bit of shock. That's probably a fair statement. A mnogi od nas su još uvijek u laganom šoku. Možemo to slobodno reći. It's natural, it's understandable. To je prirodno i razumljivo. When we come down from our usual life, our working life, our relationships with those people we love, colleagues and friends, and we have come down into survival mindset. Kad iz svog uobičajenog života u kojem radimo imamo odnose, dođemo u ovo stanje kad smo svedeni samo na preživljavanje, When we move into survival mindset, fear takes over. Kad uđemo u to razmišljanje o preživljavanju, onda nas preuzme strah. And we never make the best decisions when fear is driving our lives. A kad strah upravlja našim životima, onda nikad ne možemo <laughs> najbolje odluke. So the whole point of this exercise is to take it out of the brain, put it on paper so we can work with it. Dakle, ideja ove vježbe je da te stvari prenesemo iz glave na papir kako bismo mogli onda raditi s tim informacijama. In a way, it's like taking the excess worry and stress out of our mind and taking it out of our mind and at least putting it on paper. Na neki način mi sve te suvišne brige prenosimo iz svoje glave i na papir. Where we can deal with it, manage it, strategize it. A onda kad su na papiru, onda se možemo baviti njima, upravljati i pronaći neku strategiju. The fundamental element here is that your mindset, moment to moment, is going to allow you to find the best possible solution, whatever circumstance you're in. Važno je reći da će vaš um pronaći najbolje rješenje, bez obzira o tome u kakvim se trenutačno okolnostima. So taking a present inventory is a key element here. Ključni element ovdje je da napravite inventuru u sadašnjem trenutku. Now, as a last addition to that assignment. E kao posljednji dodatak ovom zadatku. If you haven't done this already, take an inventory of how much food you have in your apartment or house. Ako još niste to napravili, zabilježite koliko točno hrane imate u kući ili stanu. 
And I want to make some very simple suggestions again. This is foundational health and survival suggestions. Htio bih vam dati još neke prijedloge. Znači to su osnovni prijedlozi za zdravlje i za preživljavanje. Human beings are known to go many weeks without food. Poznato je da ljudska bića mogu mnogo dugo vrijeme preživjeti bez hrane. I myself have fasted for many days on just water. I ja sam bio na dugotrajnom postu mnogo dana samo na vodi. I'm not suggesting that's what any of you are going to have to do. Ali ne predlažem, ne tvrdim da ćete vi morati to isto proći. But you'd be surprised how little food you need to survive and actually thrive. No, iznenadili biste se koliko vam je zapravo potrebno malo hrane da biste preživjeli i da biste bili snažni i dobri. I say this from experience because I have been under quarantine, forced isolation, one might say house arrest, for the last uh, nine days here in Romania. Ovo vam govorim iz iskustva jer ja sam ovdje u karanteni, a mogli bismo reći i u kućnom pritvoru posljednjih devet dana ovdje u Rumunskoj. Now I don't have the virus and I'm not going to get it, but I came into the country from England and so that was the policy. Ja nemam virus i neću se niti zaraziti sigurno, no ušao sam u zemlju iz Engleske i to je njihova politika. And I can tell you from experience it's remarkable how well you can do with not that much food. I mogu vam reći iz svog iskustva da je to nevjerojatno kako možete biti dobro sa vrlo malo hrane. Although I have been tempted to start eating my books. Paša ovo iskušenje da počnem jesti svoje knjige. But here's what I want to suggest strongly. Take an inventory of your food and estimate how long your food right now would last if you didn't have any more food coming into the house. No, predlažem vam da i tu napravite inventuru, popišete svu hranu koju imate kod kuće i onda procijenite koliko bi vam ona mogla potrajati pod uvjetom da više ništa vam nemate nikakve hrane da vam dolazi u kuću. Food is the number one priority for most of us after shelter and lights and of course water. Hrana je za većinu nas prvi prioritet, nakon naravno doma i vode i svjetlosti. You can't eat your smartphone, that's not, it's not so nutritious. Možete pojesti svoj telefon, nije baš hranjiv. You obviously cannot eat currency. Ne možete jesti ni valute. But you want to be thinking, if you have only a few days or maybe a week's worth of food, of investing in nutrient dense foods. Ako ustanovite da imate hrane još samo za par dana ili tjedan dana, razmislite o tome da uložite u hranu koja je jako bogata hranjivim tvarima. So I'm going to suggest a few items to consider for stocking your kitchen. Ja ću vam predložiti nekoliko stvari koje biste mogli nabaviti zalihe. Think nutrient dense. Ti razmišljajte o hrani koja je bogata hranjenim tvarima. Tuna fish in a can. Koji je konzerviran. Beans in a can. Konzervirani grah. Think potentially, depending on what the resources are, several dozen eggs. Možda jaja, ako imate pristup njima, znači par desetaka jaja. Of course you can think about bread, but it needs to be frozen and doesn't last that long. Isto tako i kruh, međutim njega trebate smrznuti i nije toliko trajan kao ove druge stvari. I recommend instead one or two grains. Uh, one or two what? Grains, oatmeal. Ah, okay. uh -huh. Znači umjesto kruha ja vam predlažem jednu ili dvije vrste nekih žitarica. Naprimjer, kinoja. Right? One or two grains. Znači jednu žitarica koje možete skuhati. You want a good supply of a good oil, maybe a nice healthy olive oil. Znači neko kvalitetno ulje, možda maslino. You want a few flesh items that will last a long time. Onda nekoliko svježe hrane koje će vam trajati duže vrijeme. I recommend... 
big heads of green cabbage. They last a long time and they're super healthy. Preporučujem velike glavice kupusa bijelog jer one dugo traje i jako je zdrav. Sweet or orange potatoes are wonderful. Onda ovaj slatki krumpir, odnosno batat. Apples are great for the sweet. Apuke. And of course, some comfort foods. I naravno neka hrana koja vas tješi. Some chocolate perhaps. Some, some, some good wine is a nice idea. Dobro vino, to je isto dobra ideja. And if you don't have a good water supply coming out of the tap, oh, maybe 20 or 30 liters of water. I ako vam voda iz pipe nije kvalitetna, onda možda 20-30 litara vode. And or a good water filter pitcher. Ili uh, nekakav dobar filter za vodu. Now, pasta is an option, as is pasta sauce and maybe some pesto sauce. I like marmalade for my toast or crackers. But you'll notice that what the list I just gave you, and you can of course customize it, you can survive for many, many months on such a list. Primijetit ćete na ovoj hrani koju sam vam predložio, a to naravno možete i prilagoditi, da možete jako dugo preživjeti na ovome. So if your mind knows that you've got several weeks of food and you're not going to starve and you're not going to die, you can be further from the fear and more in your power. Dakle, ako vaš um zna da imate dovoljno hrane, da nećete biti gladni, nećete umriti od gladi, onda se oslobađate straha i stupate u svoju moć, snagu. Now, one of the most powerful simple secrets that many of you know to strengthen our magnetic power through this time. Jedna od najvažnijih stvari koju vjerojatno mnogi od vas znaju kako ojačati svoju magnetnu moć u ovom vremenu is simply the art and science of written gratitude. A to je umjetnost i znanost zapisivanja zahvalnosti. I am making this a daily practice myself in the morning. Za mene je to moja dnevna praksa svako jutro. I am writing down what I'm grateful for and the resources I have right now. Svako jutro ja zapišem za što sam zahvalan i koje resurse imam upravo sada. Plenty of good food and water. Mnogo dobre hrane i vode. An immaculate, clean and safe space. Prekrasan, čist i siguran prostor. Good internet connection for connection with you like this. Dobru internetsku vezu da se mogu ovako povezati s vama. A cell phone that's like an, a miracle in the pocket, right? Mobitel koji je pravo čudo u džepu. My wonderful, my wonderful, my incredible family and alliances and friends. Imam svoje prekrasne prijatelje, obitelj, suradnike. The essence of who I am and the ability to share that in, in a meaningful and valuable way with others. Zatim imam tu esenciju onog što ja jesam i sposobnost da to dijelim s drugima na jedan dobar način. The list goes on, but the important thing is to write it down. Pišete. The list goes on, but the important thing is to write this down daily, ideally in the morning to start your day. I ovaj popis se nastavlja i jako je bitno da sve to zapišete, a idealno bi bilo ujutro na početku dana. Again, the point here is to raise your frequency to make to, to literally have thankfulness and gratitude for what you have right now. I ovdje je poanta da podignete svoju frekvenciju da budete zahvalni za sve ono što imate upravo sada. And the feeling of gratitude will fill your whole body, calm your emotions, and give you that strong sense that you're safe and okay, and you can handle it. 
i taj osjećaj zahvalnosti će ispuniti cijelo vaše tijelo, umirit će vaše emocije i daće vam osjećaj da ste sigurni i da se možete nositi sa situacijom. I also recommend reducing your media consumption. Isto tako, ja vam preporučujem da što manje pratite medije. Especially the continuing scary reports of the viruses spread across the planet. A osobito one vijesti koje je stalno naglašavaju kako se virus širi po cijeloj planeti. The maps that have these big red circles covering the entire country. One karte sa velikim crvenim krugovima koji prekrivaju cijelu zemlju. My country, the United States, has a gigantic red circle over the entire continent. A kad gledamo moju zemlju, SAD, znači imamo jedan veliki crveni krug koji prekriva čitav kontinent. Now I'm not trivializing the fact that people are getting this virus and some are dying. Ja ne trivializiram činjenicu da ljudi se zaražuju ovim virusom, neki i umiru. But the fact is, it's a fraction of the population of each country. A fraction. No, činjenica je da je to samo mali dijelić stanovništva svake pojedine zemlje. Samo jedan mali dijelić. When you look at these scary graphical maps, they lie. I kad gledate te zastrašujuće grafikone i karte, oni lažu. Graphically, it looks like a nuclear bomb wiped out the United States with a huge red circle over the whole continent. I kad gledate tu mapu koja prikazuje Ameriku, čini se kao da je atomska bomba pala i izbrisala cijelu zemlju. Kad gledate ta... And yes, it is scary. Da, to je zastrašujuće. But we must put it into context. No, moramo to staviti u odgovarajući kontekst. And when there's a huge red bubble over the whole United States, you think the majority of the population has it and is about to die. Kada taj veliki crveni balon koji prekriva cijeli SAD, onda pomislite da većina populacije je zaražena i da će svi umriti. And in reality, it's a tiny fraction of the population. Dok je u stvarnosti to samo jedan mali dijelić ukupnog stanovništva. This is the subject of a deeper discussion. Ovo je jedna tema za puno dublju diskusiju. But the science seems to point to the fact that the vast majority of people who contract this virus will not only survive, but the symptoms will be mild. No čini se da znanost ukazuje na to da će velika, ogromna većina ljudi koji se zaraze ovim virusom preživjeti, a ne samo to, već će imati vrlo blage simptome. So I suggest one of the most important things to cultivate is a state of calm and reason and rationality and don't let yourself get swept away in the hysterical media. I ja vam predlažem da je najvažnije njegovati stanje uma koje je smireno i nemojte dopustiti da vas ovi mediji odvedu u stanje histerije. So what I want to do now is share some key tips about how you can protect yourself in this time. Sada bih vam želio dati neke ključne savjete o tome kako se možete zaštititi u ovom vremenu. And a very interesting concept about if you were to contract the virus, how to handle your exposure. And I'll explain that in a moment. I isto tako, jedan jako zanimljiv koncept, ako biste se zarazili, kako se onda nositi s time. To ću vam također objasniti za trenutak. The research seems to indicate that if we get hit with a large dose of the virus all at once, an extreme example would be if someone who has the virus sneezes right in your face. So you get, in a sense, inoculated with the virus in a large dose all at once. It rapidly multiplies in your body and causes much more severe symptoms and health challenges. 
u takvom slučaju virus se počne jako brzo razmnožavati u vašem tijelu i onda će uzrokovati puno gore simptome i puno veći izazov za zdravlje to postane. In contrast to being exposed to a small amount of the virus. Uspored bi sa slučajem da ste izloženi vrlo maloj količini virusa. Which if you contract the virus in a small dosage, let's say, of exposure, your body will be able to work with it and handle it and reduce the curve of impact over time. And the research says the symptoms will be less and the health risks will also be less. Ste u kontaktu i zaraženi sa recimo puno manjom količinom virusa. Istraživanja nam govore da će onda e, tijelo se može boriti protiv virusa. Imate puno blaže simptome i sve je puno slabije. So clearly job one at this time is to reduce your exposure to others. Dakle, jasno je da vaš prvi zadatak je da smanjite izloženost u kontaktu s drugima. Yes, wash the hands for 20 seconds with soap or a hand cleaner. Naravno, perite ruke 20 sekundi sa punom ili sredstvom za dezinfekciju. Out in public, if you have access, a mask is a great idea. Ako ste vani u javnosti, odlična ideja je staviti masku. Again, most masks won't necessarily protect you from the virus. They'll protect others if you have it, but they also would reduce your exposure to it if you did get it. Now we say in America that the best offense, the best protection is a good defense. Najbolja zaštita, dobra obrana. And so I have a regimen that I've researched that I utilize for me. I tako ja imam jedan niz postupaka koje sam proučio, koje koristim za sebe. I'll share a few of the key elements with you now, but understanding this is what I do, and I'm not a medical doctor, so I can't tell you to do this. I can simply tell you what I'm doing. Reći ću vam neke od tih stvari, no moram reći, pošto ja nisam liječnik, ne mogu vam to preporučiti da radite i vi, već vam samo mogu ispričati što je to što ja radim. I'm taking some targeted nutritional superfoods and supplements on a regular basis. Ja redovito uzimam određene dodatke prehrani i super hranu. Primarily chaga mushroom powder. Prije svega to je gljiva čaga u prahu. The research on this is astounding and its effect is being an antiviral agent. Postoji velika količina istraživanja o tome kako ona djeluje protuvirusno. And perhaps we'll put in the notes to this show a link or two where you can learn more. Možda možemo poslije staviti par linkova gdje možete saznati više o njenom djelovanju. I'm taking me to give you 5 and 10,0 units of vitamin D as in David a day. And three, four thousand milligrams of vitamin C a day. I'm also eating as healthy as I can. And I'm including a regimen that I discovered many years ago and have practiced, and I'll share it with you now. I make a solution of one and a half percent hydrogen peroxide. Uh, here in Romania, and possibly there in Croatia, it comes in a bottle and it says, well, this is Romanian, but it's oxygen water, hydrogen peroxide, notice it says 3%. Kupim u Rumunjskoj, uh, kaže 
I dilute this with an equal amount of water to make a one and a half percent solution. Ja ovo razredim s vodom tako da dobijem otopinu od 1,5%. That is what I do. To je ono što ja radim. Then I put it in a little spray bottle. Stavim u ovakvu bočicu. Before I go out in public or before I would get on a plane. Prije nego recimo prije nego što uđem u avion. I spray it into my nostrils and down my throat. Sprejam se ovo u nos i u grlo. It's an antiviral agent, antibacteria. Ovo, ova otopina djeluje protuvirusno i protubakterijski. It foams up a little bit. There's a little bit of a almost like a sting in the nostrils. Malo se zapijeni i može vas malo bockati u nosu. But I spray a little down my throat, close my mouth and swish around. Ja um, nasprejam malo u grlo i zatvorim usta i to malo promučkam. This is an antiviricide, antibactericide. Ovo je sredstvo protiv virusa i bakterija. I want to be very clear. I dilute it to one and a half percent. I don't use the three percent straight. Znači, vrlo je bitno naglasiti da ga razredim na 1,5%. Nikad ne koristim ove 3%. And you would, and you would not, do, not this do this if you have any sort of respiratory issues, asthma, allergies, etc. You would check with your health provider, your health professional first. I'm simply telling you what I do. I do this before a flight or exposure to people outside. To napravim prije leta avionom ili ako sam izložen kontaktu s ljudima vani. I do it during the flight at least once. Isto tako za vrijeme leta, bar jednom. Or when I'm outside for a few minutes or hours among, around other people. Kad sam vani par sati među drugim ljudima. And I do it when I come home or when I get off the plane. Isto tako kad dođem kući ili kad siđem s aviona. It's oxygen water. It's not a drug. Ovo nije lijek, to je o, voda s kisikom. It's inexpensive and it's effective for me. Nije skupo i djelotvorno je za mene. And it's readily available in most pharmacies. I može se kupiti u većini apoteka. Again, I dilute it to one and a half percent. So I would take this bottle and cut it with an equal amount of water. Još jednom ću naglasiti, ja to razrijedim na 1,5%, znači ovu bočicu um, pomiješam sa jednakom količinom vode. Lastly, I can't emphasize this enough, and that is, it's critical for your immune system to be the best defense that you get enough sleep every night. Isto tako, ne mogu ovo dovoljno naglasiti, najbitnije je za vaš imunosni sustav da se dovoljno i dobro naspavate svake noći. Now is the time that many of us have been given the gift of time that we didn't have before. U ovom trenutku mnogi od nas su dobili na poklon vrijeme koje prije nismo imali. And anything you can do to strengthen your immune system is a, the best investment you can make in staying healthy and putting up the best defense against this virus. I sve što možete učiniti za jačanje svog imuniteta je vaša najbolja obrana da ostanete zdravi, da se obranite od ovog virusa. Of course you also want to stay amply hydrated. Isto tako trebate piti dovoljne količine vode. Get as much sun exposure as you can because of the vitamin D that's naturally generated on your skin. Isto tako izlažite se suncu koliko god možete zbog stvaranja vitamina D. And make sure you have healthy fats in your diet. Olive oil, avocado, nuts. Isto tako pobrinite se da u svojoj prehrani imate zdrave masnoće, na primjer maslinovo ulje, avokado, orašaste plodove. Because the body needs healthy fats circulating in order to be able to take the vitamin D from the sun and process and utilize it. 
jer te zdrave masnoće su potrebne tijelo da bi moglo stvarati vitamin D iz sunčeve svjetlosti i da bi ga moglo koristiti u tijelu. So I'll conclude with these are some simple in many ways common sense strategies for bulletproofing better bulletproofing your immune system and your health. Dakle, ovo su neke vrlo jednostavne i zdravo razumske tehnike kojima možete ojačati svoj imunosni sustav da on postane vrlo otvoren. Your mindset, your emotions and your body. Isto tako da postane otvoren vaš um, vaše emocije i tijelo. And so perhaps in a near future edition we can speak about how you can bulletproof your business or your job or your career or what you might do next depending on how long this shutdown this martial law in many countries continues. Možda bismo u nekoj od budućih emisija mogli razgovarati o tome kako ojačati svoj biznis, karijeru, posao ovisno o tome već koliko bude trajala ova situacija s karantenom. And my last thought will be you must keep the flame of hope alive in your heart and your mind. Što vam želim reći je da morate držati taj plamen nade živim u svom umu i u svom srcu. Treat this time like a caterpillar nurturing itself in its cocoon and it will emerge as a butterfly. We're going to get through this and it's going to be better. Gledajte na ovo vrijeme kao na fazu gusjenice koja je u svojoj kukuljici i nakon toga ćemo izaći iz ove situacije kao jedan prekrasan leptir i situacija će biti puno bolja. So I know we're at time, but if there's a question or two or we want to spend a few minutes over or we want to do part two, I'm, I'm, I'm good. Znam da smo iskoristili sve vrijeme, ali ako želite možemo odgovoriti na par pitanja. Ok, imamo, uh, imamo pitanja dva. Jedno pitanje je uh, od uh, sudionice seminara koja koristi vodikov terapci, točno kako je Matthew rekao, ali kad ga stavi u nosnici ili u ustanju jako žari i baš je jako peća. A drugo pitanje je uh, da li ima nekakav savjet vezano za nesanicu. Za nesanicu? Ok, so we have two questions. Okay. Uh, one, uh, the first question is from a person who was at your seminar in Zagreb and started using the uh, hydrogen peroxide in the way yes. you just described. Yes. yes. So when she sprays it into the nose or into the mouth, she feels burning, quite strong burning. So if you can say something about this. The key is it must be diluted to one or one and a half percent. That's the key. The da se dovoljno razrijedi na 1 ili 1,5%. Razrijedi, radi sve kako je, kako je rečeno. So she has done everything like you described, but she still feels this burning. The key then is, my, from my experience, I feel a little burning and a little white foam. That's germs being killed. That's viruses being killed. If it's uncomfortable, stop. Don't do it. Znači, iz mog iskustva i ja ponekad osjećam to peckanje i napravi se bijela pjena i to je zapravo što, ono što se događa u tom trenutku da se uh, bakterije i virusi ubijaju, budu ubijeni. Međutim, ako je jako neugodno, neka prestane. Or if it was me, again, as I'm speaking about me, I would dilute it again with half again as much water and try that. Ili ja bih na njenom mjestu uh, onda to još razrijedio istom količinom vode pa probao s tom otopinom. Again, this is an experiment um, that you, you do based on my telling you about me. Uh, I'm not a doctor so I can't prescribe for anyone. And that's why I always say if a question like this is brilliant because follow your gut and intuition. If it's painful or uncomfortable, just don't do it. Do something different. Figure out something else. And again, allergies, asthma, any sort of respiratory issues, children, consult your health provider, your doctor, whoever you trust in the health field, if you have any further questions on this. I can tell you what I do and it works. 
Znači, još jednom ću ponoviti, ovo je samo jedan eksperiment na osnovu mog iskustva. Pošto nisam liječnik, ja vam ne mogu ništa prepisivati, a trebate i koristiti svoju intuiciju, znači radite ono što je dobro za vas. I ponavljam, ako imate bilo kakve respiratorne probleme, alergije, astmu, nikako nemojte to raditi. And I'll add one last thought here, Silvia, and that is, I've been working with hydrogen peroxide for decades and researching it myself. Htio bih još reći da ja na već desetljećima radim s vodikovim peroksidom i istraživao sam dosta o njemu. Most people know it externally to pour on a cut and it foams up and kills and, 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 uh, and uh, foams up and gets rid of the germs. Čina ljudi ga koristi, na primjer ako se porežete pa to stavite na ranu i onda se to zapijeni i ubija mikroorganizme. Most labels say don't take it internally. I'm not suggesting you drink it. I uglavnom piše nije za unutarnju upotrebu i zato vam ja ne preporučujem da ga pijete. I know for me that if I do a pump up one nostril and a pump up the other and down my throat, I feel for me it offers extra protection regarding the virus. Znači ja znam da što se mene tiče, ako ga naspremam u nosnicu i u grlo, meni to pomaže i osjećam da mi to pruža dodatnu zaštitu protiv virusa i bakterija. We have another question. Can you give us some tips about insomnia? Insomnia? Yes, yes. Well, Many cases of insomnia, in my experience, have to do with a troubled mind. And so that's why the exercise, for example, of gratitude, I would do that at night if someone has insomnia, by the way. I would spend five minutes writing down gratitude, the things we're grateful for. Znači, u mom iskustvu, većinom, kad ljudi pate od nesanice, problem je u umu. I preporučio bih recimo da onda onu vježbu zapisivanja zahvalnosti radite na večer prije spavanja, ako ne možete zaspati. Ask one yourself what's causing your mind to potentially be troubled. Zapitajte se što vas to muči, zašto vas um sprečava da zaspite. Write it down, get it out of your mind on paper and then ask yourself What could you do differently to address whatever it might be? Zapišite to što vas muči, znači prenesite to iz glave na papir i onda se zapitajte što bih sad mogao učiniti drugačije u vezi ovoga. Many of the insomnia cases originate in the mind because of stress and worry and it's completely understandable. U mnogo slučaja nesanica dolazi iz uma zbog stresa i zbog brige što je potpuno razumljivo. But here's the great news. There are some simple things you can also do with your body that will put the odds in your favor. You can have a better sleep tonight and tomorrow and forward. Postoje neke jednostavne stvari koje možete učiniti fizički koje će vam povećati kvalitetu sna danas. So I'll share just a few quick tips for anyone, not just anyone who's got insomnia, but for anyone who wants to sleep deeper and better. Ču vam par kratkih savjeta za bilo koga ko želi spavati bolje i dublje. The first is your sleeping environment. You want to make sure it's completely dark, no light, not even an LED clock. Prva stvar je okolina u kojoj spavate, neka bude što tamnija, da nema nikakvih svjetala, čak niti sat električni sa displejem. You want the room to be as cool as you can tolerate. Cool, cold. Isto tako, neka vam u sobi bude toliko hladno koliko možete izdržati. As low as 17 degrees Celsius. Oko 17 stupnjeva. You want to make certain that you haven't eaten too close to going to sleep. At least two hours should have passed between the time you ate and you go to sleep. Minimum two. If you're having challenges, 
take a hot bath, or if you don't have a bathtub, a hot shower. With a bathtub, fill it with a half a kilo of regular salt, sodium bicarbonate or baking soda, or what is known as Epsom salt. Znači, isto tako možete si, ako imate kadu, napravite si toplu kupku u kojoj ćete staviti do pola kile obične soli, možda sode bikarbone ili gorke soli. Ako nemate kadu, onda topli tuš. If you don't have a bathtub, after you've taken the hot shower, fill a bucket, a pail with hot water, put a handful of salt, Epsom salt or baking soda in the bucket and soak your feet for like five minutes in the hot water. Znači, ako nemate kadu, onda nakon toplog tuša napunite posudu vrućom vodom i u tu posudu stavite sol ili sodu bikarbonu ili gorku sol i onda namačite noge u toj vrućoj vodi, barem 50 minuta. Consider sleeping to sleep meditation music. There's beautiful tracks all over YouTube. Isto tako možete si pustiti neku glazbu za meditaciju, možete naći razno razne primjerke na YouTube. And last but not least, there's a very simple exercise. It's actually it's in my book and I'll describe it to you quickly. It's called the star technique. Isto tako postoji jedna vrlo jednostavna vježba koju ću vam opisati ona je u mojoj knjizi, to je tehnika zvijezde. Takes about three minutes to do before you go to sleep. The theory is, if you relax the extremities of your body, your hands, your head, and your feet, your whole body will get more relaxed quickly. Teorija je da ako opustite svoje šake, stopala i glavu, čitavo tijelo će vam se opustiti puno prije. So I challenge the, the man or woman who had that question about insomnia to do some of the things or all of them we talked about tonight, but the star technique is wonderful and simple. So I'll tell you about it right now. Dakle, ja pozivam ovu osobu koja je postavila pitanje o nesanici da primijeni neke od ovih tehnika koje smo opisali, a sad ćemo objasniti i ovu tehniku zvijezde. Again, the principle is The extremities, the parts farthest from our center, our hands, our head, and our feet. Dakle, princip je o tome da opustimo ekstremitete, odnosno šake, stopala i glavu. If we can get a chain reaction of relaxation started in those points of our body, it will go and permeate our entire body. Možemo pokrenuti lančanu reakciju opuštanja iz tih dijelova tijela, Uh, ono će uh, prodrijeti u sve dijelove našeg tijela. So here's what you do. You spend 30 seconds or so with both hands massaging one of your feet. Dakle, otprilike 30 sekundi uh, sa obje ruke masirate jedno stopalo. Especially the sole. If this is your foot, you take the other hand and you, you do this in the sole of the foot. Osobito u uh, sredinu, taban. Najviše pažnje trebate posvetiti tabanu na lakav način. Squeeze the foot, love your foot. Masirajte stopalo. Then switch and do the other foot. 30 seconds. Na drugo stopalo, isto tako 30 sekundi. Chain reaction of relaxation is now going to start coming up your legs, up your trunk and into your, your tummy. Sada će vam ta lančana reakcija opuštanja ići prema gore uh, kroz vaše noge sve do trbuha. We've got the two bottom extremities, our feet. We've got them in a relaxation mode now. Hvala. We've got the feet in the relaxation mode now. The feet are now starting to be relaxed and it's traveling up our body. Znači, pošto su nam sad stopala opuštena, taj osjećaj opuštenosti putuje prema gore, kroz tijelo. Then we're going to work on our head, but the number one tension place in our head generally is our cheeks. Our cheeks, the jaw muscles here. Možemo raditi na glavi i mjesto na glavi koje ima najviše napetosti, to je ovdje na, na obrazima. Take our fists, and no, we're not going to punch ourselves, okay? We're not going to do that. <laughs> Šake, nećemo se lupati. 
Gently put your fists and your knuckles where there's that tight knot there where you chew and just do this. Just press in, even make it a little uncomfortable because you want to press in for just 30 seconds. You want to relax those jaw muscles by massaging them with your knuckles. I onda ćemo isto tako rukama masirati ovo područje obraza. Dobro pritisnite, možda čak će vas malo boliti, ali samo 30 sekundi želimo dobro opustiti ove mišiće. Now I'm demonstrating this and I'm starting to breathe deeper and get relaxed right now, okay? Ja vam ovo pokazujem, ćemo opuštati čim ovo primjenjujem, odmah se opuštam. All right, relaxation will start spreading through your head and coming down your neck and your shoulders. Da, opušteno se sada ide iz vaše glave, u vrat, u ramena, prema dolje. Lastly, we're going to work on our hands. I na kraju ćemo raditi na šakama. Start with any one of them. Take the other hand and you're going to massage the palm. You can do this, squeeze it, squeeze the hand, massage your hand for 30 seconds with the other hand. Dakle, 30 sekundi jednom rukom masiramo drugu. And again, press a little bit. Not so it's painful where you're like, ah, I'm hurting myself, but press. Get in there. Then, of course, reverse. Make this the last thing you do, and then go to sleep. I can virtually guarantee you're going to sleep more relaxed, deeper, and wake up feeling better. Neka vam ovo bude zadnja stvar koju radite prije spavanja i garantiram vam ako to radite da ćete bolje spavati i dublje spavati i da će se, kad se probudite, bit ćete opušteniji. Now I wish we had more time, because I've got a lot more stuff to share. But that's the beauty of being able to do this again. So unless there's another question, Carmen, I know we went over time, but if, we, if you want to summarize and... Okay, so uh, we have another question. It's um, what type of essential oils do you use personally and in what ways? How do you use them? Oh, oh. See, I love questions like this. These are great. I use, uh, this is a great question because it triggers another antiviral, powerful antiviral for the virus and any viruses, and it's oregano oil. I also take oregano oil capsules. Ja isto uzimam i ulje oregana u kapsulama. And I put a little drop of oregano oil. I travel with a little, uh, I think it's, um, uh, what is it, 10 milliliters, I think, of, of organic oregano oil in a little bottle. I put a little drop on my toothbrush when I brush my teeth. Uh, znači ja uvijek kad putujem nosim sa sobom bočicu tog ulja i isto tako kad perem zube onda stavim kap ulja na četkicu za zube. Cleans my whole mouth and throat cavity and it's absorbed under the tongue as well. I also love birch tree extract. Birch, B-I-R-C-H, it's the extract from the tree with the white bark. I use that under my nose when I go out. I use it when I run. I use it whenever I want to pick me up. Somehow the spirit of the birch tree, and there's research on it as well, helping to protect and helping to strengthen the lungs. I really like it. Znači ja to ulje natrljam ispod nosa, koristim ga prije trčanja kad izlazim van i kad se naprosto želim malo podignuti i postoji istraživanja da ovo ulje djeluje dobro na pluća. So those are probably my two favorites. I also use lime. I really like lime extract. Uh, lime essential oil. I use that for when I exercise. Um, it somehow gets me into the mindset of being like a champion, like a gladiator, you know, like a terminator. Okay. Uh, isto tako volim etečno ulje limete i njega često koristim uh, prije vježbanja jer me isto tako podiže i onda se osjećam spreman za vježbanje i kao terminator. 
Beautifully done. I love that accent, Sylvia. Oh my God, Terminata? Whoa. Terminata. <laughs> Beautiful questions. Beautiful questions. I, I, I must say, just, you know, the really great questions. Thank you. Thank you. Dobro, mi smo došli do, do kraja. Uh, ovo jedna jako lijepa emisija je Matthew zapravo obišao sve i naš je nekakav psihički, mentalni, emocionalni dio i ono što možemo napraviti uh, za svoje tijelo. Također, i kao što vidite, sve ove stvari su zapravo uh, vrlo dostupne, ništa nije egzotično, ništa nije nema ponad koliko skupo. Uh, potrebno je da jednostavno to počnemo primjenjivati. Jer manje više mi sve ovo znamo, ali kao što znamo, baš primjena nam najčešće šteka. Znači, ova vremena kada mi snima od samo sebe, od svesta i od svega, prilično dole, napravimo sve ovo što je Metu rekao. Ja sam pa sam sigurna da će rezultati biti uh, vrlo vidljivi i vrlo dugo. Okay. Is, there, is, there, is there room for one last point for 30 seconds? Of course. I will give you time. Okay. That is, I wanted to just underscore the point that while, again, we have tremendous sympathy for the people who are suffering and dying from this virus, the same we would for people who are dying from regular influenza or any disease, the most important thing, the gift, if you will, of what's happening on the planet is, this is really highlighting how important your immune system is and your power over it. Znači, na kraju bih želio još jednom naglasiti da iako mi e, suosjećamo sa svim ljudima koji su se razboljili od ovog virusa, jednako kao i sa svima koji recimo bi umiljali od obične gripe, e, jedna bitna stvar e, u cijeloj ovoj situaciji, odnosno poklon za nas recimo je da sada uviđamo koliko je bitan imunitet, jačanje imuniteta za nas, kako bismo sve ovo nadvladali. Again. And lastly, the best offense is a great defense. The best offense and protection is a great defense. And your number one defense is your immune system, which is everything how you treat your body and increase the protection of it through some of the things we've talked about. I znači još jednom ću ponoviti, znači najbolja ofenziva je zapravo zaštita i jačanje svog imuniteta na sve ove načine koje smo And I just want to say to everyone, um, take heart, have hope, and do what you can to learn and spread the virus of positivity, spread the virus of love, spread the virus of health, and teach what you learn that works for you. That's critical in these times. We have to support one another, and we have to be lighthouses of hope. I na kraju bih poručio svima da e, imate nade i da širite svijetom virus ljubavi i nade i zdravlja. I isto tako podučavajte druge ljude svemu onom što ste vi ustanovili da pomaže vama. So, thank you very much, Mike. Hvala svima vama koji ste bili s nama. Mike je već najavio nekakvi drugi susret, hvatamo ga za riječ. Dogovorit ćemo se i obavijet ćemo se s nama. Silvija, najljepša hvala od svih nas. Hvala vam svima i do vidjenja. I say peace to everyone. Live long and prosper. Keep your heart strong. And much love. Držite se i brinite se za svoje srce i svima šaljem puno ljubavi.